Good afternoon, everyone. I am Basavaraj Sarutur, working as assistant professor in the Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering, SKSVMSCT, Lakshmishal. Before getting into the technical discussion today, I would like to express my gratitude. I have been nominated for the Professor VK Kustigi Excellence in Teaching Award for the academic year 2023. I owe this honor to the entire SKSVMSCT family and the Namana Trust. Thank you. Let's get into the technical discussion. Today, I am going to present a technical talk on the future of sensing, how millimeter wave radar is shaping tomorrow's world. These are the contents of my presentation. Starting with introduction, key components of millimeter wave radar, models of millimeter wave radar sensor, the measurements performed by millimeter wave radar sensor, benefits and applications, challenges and limitations, the future of millimeter wave radar technology, and the conclusion. Let's begin with the concept of radar. As you all know that radar stands for radio detection and ranging. As you can see in this image, we have a radar antenna and a target. So the radar antenna consists of a transmitter and receiver and the target uh, can be either a aircraft or a, any other object. It can be uh, a car. It can be an aircraft or it can be uh, a human being also. So we have, uh, we know that this uh, radar uh, antenna consists of a transmitter and receiver. So the transmitter basically emits the radio waves that is electromagnetic waves which will hit the target. The uh, electromagnetic waves are reflected back and those waves are received by the receiver antenna. And the receiver further processes these electromagnetic uh, received waves for extracting the required information. In this case, it may be finding the distance between the target and the radar antenna. As you can see, we have different types of radar starting with we have doppler radar synthetic aperture radar fmcw radar monopulse radar passive radar planar array radar so the today we are going to concentrate mainly on fmcw radar because our millimeter wave radar sensor uses fmcw as its modulation technique the fmcw uh, stands for frequency modulated continuous wave. So in our discussion, in our later discussions, we will see what is this FMCW. So let us see where this millimeter wave falls in the whole electromagnetic frequency spectrum. The whole electromagnetic frequency spectrum starting from 10 kilohertz to 300 gigahertz, it is divided into three different uh, spectrums. So that we have the radio frequency, microwave, then millimeter wave. So the radio frequency spectrum, we can have the applications like community antenna TVs, cable modem, RFID, cellular 3G, 4G. Uh, 2G, then we have we are have we are using Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. All these operate at radio frequencies. And the second that is microwave. So it is basically used for industrial and commercial applications. And the point of concentration uh, that is a millimeter wave spectrum. It is basically uh, used for the advanced driver assistance systems that is in the automotive applications 
and industrial applications and it is also used for scientific imaging and measurement applications so as you can see the millimeter wave uh, starts from 30 gigahertz and ends at 300 gigahertz as you can see it has a larger bandwidth which is very useful for for the applications so let us learn the history and evolution of millimeter wave radar so it started from the year 1921 where the first evidence of coherent wave reflection was studied then in the year 1935 the first radar was used to detect the aircrafts then in the year 1960 the radio the radar was integrated into automobiles mainly for collision avoidance then in the year 1970s the millimeter wave the, the basic radar was shifted into the millimeter wave radar where it was explored for military applications then in the year 2000 it was uh, uh, it was debuted into the commercial automotive radar systems then in the year 2010 millimeter radar was able to enable the ADAS uh, feature in uh, automotive domains that is advanced driver assistance systems then today uh, the millimeter wave radar uh, is enabling us the perception of autonomous vehicles let us start with what is millimeter wave radar and also why it is called so why it is millimeter wave okay so as we have already seen in the previous uh, slide the millimeter wave ranges from 30 gigahertz to 300 gigahertz so this millimeter wave radar sensors they generally operate at very high frequencies that is between 30 to 300 gigahertz so they provide very high spatial and range resolution so let us also learn why it is called with the name millimeter so we have the famous wavelength equation that is lambda is equal to c divided by f where lambda is the wavelength c is the speed of the light so the speed of the light is equal to the speed of the radio waves and f is the frequency so let us consider the frequency uh, uh, say for example 77 gigahertz which falls between 30 and 300 so if we divide the speed of the light that is 3 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second by the 77 gigahertz it will be close to 4 millimeter so the wavelength of this frequency frequency at 77 gigahertz the wavelength of that wave it is 4 millimeter so that is why this radar as it uses the frequencies between 30 to 300 gigahertz the wavelength will be in the range of millimeters that is why the name millimeter wave radar so these are the key components of millimeter wave radar so as you can see we have the antenna the transmitter receiver and a signal processing unit so we know antenna basically performs what the transmission and receiving of radio frequency signals so as we know that the radio frequency signals will not be having the capability to travel a longer distance so the modulation is necessary so that modulation is done at the at the transmitter side so the transmitter generates a modulated waveform which can be sent over a communication link so when when it hits a target the a modulated waveform so it is received at the receiver side so at the receiver side again the demodulate demodulation operation is done 
so that demodulated waveform is is given as an input to the signal processing unit so the signal processing unit basically performs the extraction so it extracts the required information so in the millimeter wave radar has the capability to measure the three parameters so not only just it measures the distance between the radar and the target it also measures in ad in addition to that it also measures the velocity and the angle of arrival let's go let's get in much deeper into the millimeter radar millimeter wave radar so these are the models of millimeter wave radar so we have the first one we have the synthesizer we have the transmit antenna we have the receive antenna we have the mixer so let us see what this synthesizer does really the millimeter wave radar sensors uh, they use the fmcw as their modulation technique as we have already learned fmcw is nothing but frequency modulated continuous wave wherein the frequency of a sinusoidal signal is varied continuously with respect to time that we call it as frequency modulated continuous wave modulation technique so this synthesizer will generate an fmcw chirp signal so this fmcw chirp signal is sent over the transmit antenna so that fmcw chirp signal now will bombard or hit a target and it is reflected back that reflected wave or reflected signal is received at the receive antenna so as you can see the received signal and the original fmcw chirp signal both are mixed at the mixer and the output is an if signal if is nothing but intermediate frequency signal so this intermediate frequency signal will now help us to extract the three important measurements or which are done by the millimeter wave radar so here i was as i was talking about this fmcw chirp signal so it as you can see in this uh, image in this figure so the frequency is increasing as with respect to the time so the starting frequency as you can see from the adjacent figure here so the starting frequency is 77 gigahertz and it can increase up to 81 gigahertz so what will be the bandwidth 81 minus 77 so the bandwidth is 4 gigahertz okay so whatever we discussed in our previous slide so it is all pertaining to the rf component that is radio frequency component whatever the synthesizer transmit antenna receive antenna and the mixer it always it is whole comes in rf component so in addition to this the millimeter wave radar sensor also has the analog and digital digital components in it see what this analog component does here see this intermediate frequency signal which is uh, the output of the mixer is given as an input to a low pass filter so here some of the high frequency signals are minimized and again the output is given to an analog to digital converter as we know that some of the millimeter wave radar sensors also has built in microcontroller in it as we know that the microcontroller understands only the digital signals so that is the reason we need to convert the analog to digital so the the output of this adc is given as an input to a digital signal processing unit okay so that here the advanced signal processing algorithms are applied for example fast fourier transform signal processing algorithms are applied 
and the output will get us the measurements the three important measurements that is the range velocity and the angle of arrival now let us get into how this millimeter wave radar sensor measures the three important parameters that is range velocity and angle of arrival so let us start with the range measurement so for measuring the range we need to have at least one transmitter and one receiver with our millimeter wave radar sensors so here as you can see in the first figure so we have the transmit chip then it hits a target and the receiver will have the receive chip so as you can see from this figure okay so which is which we have got by applying the advanced signal processing algorithms so as, as you can see we have a time delay of tau so with the help of this time delay by uh, with uh, the known uh, speed of the radio waves and the time delay we can easily find the range between the radar and your target this is with the case of if there is only one object suppose if there are multiple object so take for example suppose if we have the multiple cars and we need to find the distance or the range between those multiple cars and your radar so in that case in the adjacent figure we have so there will be the multiple receive chirp signals with uh, time delays okay with respect to each received chirp signal we can easily find the range now let us move to next that is finding or measuring the velocity see for measuring the velocity by a millimeter wave radar sensor we need to uh, have at least one transmitter and one receiver but here for velocity measurement we will not be sending just one transmit chirp signal but we will be sending two transmit chirp signals as you can see which is evident from this figure we have sent the red one and the blue one we have here okay <coughs> we are sending two chirp transmit chirp signals and they will be received at the receiver but but they will be received with different phases so by knowing the phase difference as you can see you can observe the phase difference here okay with this phase difference we, we can easily find out the velocity so the velocity can be is nothing but what the speed at which the target is either it will be moving towards your radar or moving away from the radar now the last one that is the angle of arrival so here for measuring this parameter we need to have one transmit antenna but we should have two receive antennas here as you can see here so both the receive antennas will get the reflected signal but with a with a difference so by knowing this difference and applying some mathematical calculations by doing some mathematical calculations we can easily find the angle of arrival i will not be going much deeper into the mathematical uh, calculations involved for measuring the velocity and the angle of arrival so these are the benefits of millimeter wave radar see we have other sensing technologies also okay like we we can we have the camera we have uh, the ultrasonic sensor we have the lidar that is 
light detection and ranging so these with these sensing technologies also we can find the range velocity and the angle of arrival but each sensing technology has its own advantages as well as disadvantages so let us start with what the advantages we have with respect to this uh, sensing technology sensing technology that is millimeter wave radar sensor so it provides us very high resolution that is it will be able to detect objects people with very high resolution with very high precision that is mainly due to as it is operated at very high frequencies and it has a very larger bandwidth okay then it works in all lighting conditions suppose if there is a, a less lighting conditions also it works fine it doesn't require uh, a bright sunlight okay to uh, find out the range velocity or the angle of arrival then it it has also the capability of see through like uh, if there is any plastic or fabric or dry wall in between the target and the radar so it it has a capability to penetrate into that so it has uh, it precisely measures the distance and the speed and it is also smaller in size that it has a, a smaller form factor so that is why we, it fits into uh, uh, smaller devices okay so as it is because it is in uh, the wavelength is in millimeter range so smaller wavelength so the antenna required is also smaller so the size of this millimeter wave radar sensor will be very small and uh, the consumption of the power is very low so uh, we can use it in uh, battery powered devices or some uh, it is a more energy efficient as compared to other sensing technologies so let us compare this to other sensing technologies so by uh, having a performance scores out of 100 so in the case of range it scores 80 with respect to other sensing technologies it scores 90 out of 100 in case of field of view because your millimeter wave radar sensor has a field of view of 140 degrees okay that is with 140 degrees if there is an object within 140 degrees it can easily measure the range velocity and the angle of arrival and with all weather capability it scores 95 with obstacle penetration it is uh, uh, lesser that is 70 and uh, with angular resolution it is 85 so let us get into where this millimeter wave radar sensor is used so it is used in automotive domain it is used in industries in near future it will be used in health sector also so let us first start with automotive applications all the uh, key players of semiconductor industry now they are now presently concentrating on automotive applications so uh, first it performs the obstacle detection basically it alerts the driver if uh, or triggers some events if uh, there are any obstacles and it also helps in blind spot monitoring okay which is very very important so uh, blind spots are the ones where even though driver will not be able to see uh, through the side mirrors and the rear view mirrors so that is your blind spot it helps us to monitor that blind spots and it can alert the driver and it has the capability of adaptive cruise control adaptive cruise control is nothing but uh, the the speed of the vehicle is uh, uh, increased or decreased based on whether a vehicle is in front of your vehicle if it is near to your vehicle the speed is automatically decreased if it is uh, there is no vehicle or the vehicle is far so the speed is automatically increased so that also can be uh, 
performed with the help of this millimeter wave radar sensor. Then we have lane change assist. These are self-explanatory. Then cross traffic alert. Then we have a parking aid systems. So these are some of the automotive applications wherein the millimeter wave radar sensor is used. We have uh, the industrial applications also with respect to millimeter wave radar sensor. You can see uh, it helps with object detection in warehouses. We have like for example the warehouses of Amazon or a Flipkart will be uh, mainly maintained by robots. So to assist the robots we can include the millimeter wave radar sensor in the cases of avoiding and detecting obstacles. So then we have uh, measuring fill levels like if you want to measure the liquid level we can uh, include millimeter wave radar sensor then for tracking inventory we can use millimeter wave radar sensors. So we have the healthcare applications. See this healthcare uh, applications still it is in research and development stage because if you want to apply any technology on human beings the government will impose lot of rules and regulations. So still it is under testing phase. So let us see what this millimeter red wave radar sensor offers us in the case of healthcare sector. In the healthcare sector, it, basic, so it basically helps with monitoring vital signs. Vital signs like heart rate, respiration rate. So suppose if, uh, if, uh, if you go to a hospital to have a checkup, the doctor will measure the respiration rate and heart rate by attaching some uh, sensors or some probes on your body then the uh, vital signs are measured. But this millimeter wave radar sensor is a contactless approach wherein by just keeping, supposing that this is a millimeter wave radar sensor, by just keeping at a some distance, uh, it can easily measure the physiological movements in the uh, human body and it can measure the respiration rate as well as the heart rate. Then uh, as uh, the next application is fall detection. As you know that this is uh, basically observed in the elderly people wherein uh, the elderly care is a uh, very uh, uh, what is that uh, it's a bigger task now because uh, they need a person to take care of them. So in uh, some countries now it is not it may not be happening in our country but in some companies the people are using uh, are taking help of technology to take care of elderly people so they will be having a camera or they will be having some sensors which will uh, monitor the movements of elderly people or the elderly persons has to wear some uh, wearables so through that maybe a smart watch to measure the uh, vital signs so through that it can be informed to the other person okay so here uh, with all this uh, camera and the other sensing technology they have a lot of drawbacks suppose think that the elderly person if, if he or she falls in a bathroom in a bathroom we cannot place a camera because it is uh, uh, with respect to privacy concerns. So, but this millimeter wave radar sensor solves that problem. So, millimeter wave sens radar sensor will not be having a camera. It will be using uh, its own technology. So, it can easily detect the movements of that elderly person, whether uh, it may be in a bedroom or whether it may be a living area or it may be a bathroom. So by that the millimeter wave radar sensor also uh, clears, also uh, helps to mitigate the privacy issue that we have in other sensing technologies. 
so every sensing technology every technology has challenges and also limitations so let us see what this millimeter wave radar sen sensing technology has uh, the challenges and the limitations so first one is uh, it has a high cost because it has a complex hardware and processing in it so that is why it is having high cost and also it is in research and development stage wherein the money spent will be more that is why it is costlier then it has a very short range okay so the range of measurement is very short okay then uh, we, because we cannot use we cannot use millimeter wave radar sensor to uh, measure the range of an aeroplane so that is it has very short range so in such applications only we can use the millimeter wave radar sensor then it is prone to interferences uh, then it has uh, health concerns also that is why i said the healthcare applications still it is under r and d stage that is why we still don't know whether that the waves emitted by the millimeter wave radar whether they are uh, harmful to the human body so still it is uh, in the research stage so that is also one of the challenge and limitations so with uh, advancement in uh, technology with more and more research we can mitigate these uh, challenges that we have here in the near future these are the leading millimeter wave radar manufacturing companies so we have uh, ob uh, sorry we have ob then uh, google soli project and vna nxp semiconductors ti then analog devices infinan qualcomm so some of these companies uh, basically most of the these companies are applying uh, uh, millimeter wave radar sensor in case of automotive domain and some of them are also uh, applying it for uh, uh, industrial applications then uh, and uh, you can see the google soli project so which we can see in uh, uh, pixel 4 uh, four uh, phones so basically it is a uh, gesture controlled uh, applications wherein just if this is the phone just by waving your uh, palm like this the it will go to the next page so uh, that applications uh, also involves this millimeter wave radar sensors then uh, in the near future okay uh, this is the future uh, we can the near future we can expect all these things by using millimeter wave radar sensor so the cost of millimeter wave radar sensor uh, we may, may drop significantly as uh, production will scale up and uh, the resolution or detection range can be improvised the advancement in the hardware and uh, signal processing algorithms then uh, still you are uh, uh, with advancement in the technology uh, in the vlsi technology this uh, more of uh, we can say the uh, size of this millimeter wave radar sensor may reduce so that we can include that millimeter wave radar, millimeter wave radar sensor in our uh, smart watches also then uh, the uh, power uh, consumption may also reduce and more and more uh, uh, will more and more applications uh, we can uh, we will be able to see uh, which will use this uh, millimeter wave radar sensing technology so watch a video wherein we can see uh, all the uh, uh, some of the applications so that i explained in my previous slides so uh, this is a video by texas instruments uh, by using their uh, millimeter wave radar sensors so here uh, it is used in the application of counting people and tracking so as i was saying it is used for uh, it can be used for tracking uh, the movement of elderly persons so here as you can see the uh, video here 
it is only uh, uh, for us for uh, explanation purposes so millimeter wave radar sensor doesn't consist of a camera so just to know that uh, this is the millimeter wave radar sensor this camera is not part of millimeter wave radar sensor so here uh, it is uh, uh, installed in some uh, uh, station maybe a, uh, a railway station platform underground railway station platform so then as I, as i was talking uh, it doesn't require good lighting conditions it works better in uh, uh, lower lighting conditions also so it is able to uh, detect the moments of, moment of this moments of this person so even though the lighting conditions is very low so these are some of the applications uh, which we can see uh, uh, with the help of millimeter wave radar sensor so let's move to the next slide let us conclude uh, see as uh, the millimeter wave radar, radar technology as we have seen throughout my presentation it has endless uh, capability so uh, we can expect to see many more uh, innovative sensing solutions uh, that will improvise our lives with the help of this a uh, millimeter wave radar technology so thank you for uh, joining me uh, in exploring the exciting uh, possibilities of millimeter wave radar technology any questions or any queries